Well, my friends, I'm very lucky to say I have rounded recording artist Bradley Walker with me. How you doing, my Good friend? Good to see you, man. Doing great. Good doing to have great. you on Southern Country. Last year we tried to connect and didn't work. Well, we got you this year. We got it this we, time. Let's make All it happen. Right. <laughs> let's talk about something going on right now, your Highway of Dreams. Talk to me about some of the songs on there and some of the guests you had, a couple songs, and the guests and the, who produced it. It's been a dream of mine uh, itself is to record a solo project, you know, and to have it on Rounder Records and, and to be to be able to go in Walmart somewhere or other stores and see your CD up there with everybody else. That has know. to be cool. I never it's thought a, of that. And all the people I talked to. It's a neat, it's a neat feeling, you know, because I grew up doing that. I, I constantly, you know, buy music and everything, and it's just kind of neat to go in and see your your music out there, just up with everybody else. Talk about some of the songs now on that album. Man, it's hard to pick just a couple songs yeah. to even talk about, you know. Um, that's one thing I'm really proud of with this record is the quality of material. Uh, I feel like we set the bar really, really high with, and that's not anything of my doing, that's just the writers who wrote those songs and, and we were able to find them and record them, you know. Um, what songs, makes a Bradley Walker song? What were you looking for to make it a Bradley Walker tune? It's got to touch me. There you go. It's got to, it's got to, you know, speak to me in some way yeah. and it's be a song that you know, I might listen to the demo or the work tape at 10 o'clock in the morning and if I'm if I catch myself singing the song at 7 8 o'clock that same night or the next day that tells me it's a good song because if, if I'm doing that then that means other people will do the same thing Absolutely. you know uh, and just songs that have a, a message and a meaning to them. Are there any gospel and tunes on the album? There's a great gospel song Good. that's written by uh, Sean Camp and Buddy Cannon mm -hmm. called We Know Where He Is. Uh, beautiful song. When I heard the demo, I knew right away I wanted to record it. Probably the song I get the most comments about is one called Lost at Sea, um, who also Sean Camp wrote mm -hmm. with John Scott Sherrill. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful ballad. Um, the, the music and the arrangement on that song is just really awesome and everybody seems to really like that a lot. Some good grass stuff on there too. We cut a Harley Allen song called Life or Love. Um, we cut some Larry Cordell things. We cut a great Jerry Sally song called uh, He Carried Her Memory. Jerry Sally and Jim McBride. You got some good Toothsmiths there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't I mean, lacking in the Toothsmiths no, department. No. No. Uh, feel very blessed to, to, and the thing is, uh, you know, all these people are friends of mine. There you, you know, go. that's what's kind of cool to me is that, you know, it's great songs, but I know all the people that wrote them too. So it's, take pride in that. You got some you banjos, know. mandolin, fiddle on there? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Got, some, got good instruments too. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's great. <laughs> Let's talk about the celebration of life um, musicians against childhood cancer. Mm -hmm. You sang a song called Sugar Coated Love. That's a project and a festival that's very, very dear to my heart. Yes. Um, Daryl Atkins has become a, one of the best friends I've got in this business. And he lost a daughter to cancer. And he and Daryl had been promoting bluegrass and country music all throughout Ohio for years. And when Mandy passed away, he turned his bluegrass festival into a fundraiser for St. Jude's. Isn't that something else? And all the artists donate their time, come up there and play a festival every July uh, in Columbus, Ohio. And so what Daryl did, he records all the performances from up there. So he took performances from several years and put together a two CD project that won Album of the Year a couple of years ago at IBMA. Wow. Um, and, and it's just, I'm proud of our cut. We, our cut is Sugar Coated Love. You know, just it's one of the songs that we did one year. Just, just to be associated with that, you know, and just to have a song on it. And, and because there's so many great artists on that. If you don't have that record, buy that record. Because I still call them records or CDs. Well, I, me too. But, I'm know, the same way. I'm old school. Um, I still spin records. Buy that project because it's you will not be disappointed, um, and the money goes for a great, great cause. And not only the project, come to the festival. Um, Columbus, Ohio, I think it's always the last full weekend of July. It's, I think it's a four-day festival now. It starts on Wednesday and runs through Saturday. And he has enough bands there. Each band only plays once, so you do the math. 
from Wednesday through Saturday, that many bands are playing. Wow. And it's all top-notch music. So it's something I'm really proud to be a part of and that I'll be doing as long as, as, long as I'm singing. There it's something go. I hope to be a part of. Yeah. I want to make mention to everybody that I'm talking to the 2007 male IBMA vocalist of the year. You're That's still man. hard to believe. You're the man. <laughs> You're the man. How was it do the Opry? That's another dream come true. There you go. You, you can't. Uh, no feelings. Can, you can't talk about it. You, well, you can't put it in words. words. That's what I mean. Know. You can't put it in words. Um, that's a, a, a special place to me. I'm a big, I have a big kind of a, I hate to say torch carrier or whatever, but I, I, I'm a firm believer in the traditions and, and the, the history of our music and that we need to carry that on and we always need to remember the ones that that came before us and that got all this stuff started, you know. And the Opry is, for me, being a big country music fan and bluegrass fan, in my opinion, I'll never play a, a greater stage than the Grand Ole Opry. That's the one yeah. venue, of a, one of a kind venue. Yes, yes. And, and it's something that, you know, third time out allowed me that opportunity back, uh, I think it was 2002. Two, exactly. And I'd always said, my dream was just to get to sing one song on that stage. And I've played the Opry now five or six times, and it never gets old. It's something that I, I want to do more and more and more of. And now I, I've, I've, set that, I've, I've met that goal of singing on the stage one time. Now my goal is to hopefully be a member one day. There you, you know? go. Absolutely. Because it's just, uh, that's a special place. The and Mother Church. Is. Yes. That's yes. what they call it, the Mother yes. Church. Well, the greatest country stage and bluegrass stage in the world to me.